Hey guys, welcome back to Hot Hospitality Exchange. My name is Sabrina Myers and welcome to my vlog. Your go-to vlog for discovering the best hotels, venues and destinations around the globe for events. This is vlog number 15. In this vlog, we're headed to Dusseldorf, Germany to discover the 25 Hours Hotel Das Tour. So just a little bit of background on the 25 Hours Hotels because that's always good to know. The brand itself is a very funky, trendy, design-led brand is very very approachable um, and very cool it's actually one of my favorite brands um, of hotels around the globe in general at the moment they've got about 12 hotels um, across different cities in Europe important to know they are part of the Accor brand they are the lifestyle uh, one of the lifestyle brands of Accor so if you want to contact someone you can either obviously contact the hotels directly or if you've got an Accor contact then you want to contact them let's go to Dusseldorf now this hotel is um, very centrally located in Dusseldorf actually. It's only about a 10 to 15 minute ride maximum from Dusseldorf International Airport. Um, so very, very convenient by taxi or by public transport. I would say it is in a up and coming area of the city. So kind of like what Shoreditch or Hackney was a few years ago. Um, so there's lots of cool restaurants and bars and um, offices and um, places like that that are opening around the hotel. Um, but it is a completely new build in that part of the city, which is only about, I would say, a five minute train ride um, from the central station, central train station of Dusseldorf. The whole idea about this hotel, as I was introduced to it, is that it is the marriage between a French architect and a German engineer. This kind of design marriage brings together some very cool things in this hotel. For example, when you walk into the lobby, you will see a little shot of a little bit of the Eiffel Tower if you can spot it. Um, they also have a beautiful florist where you can buy fresh flowers um, and it's open when the hotel is open which is pretty much all the time so you can buy flowers around the clock. There is also a really cute cafe where you could just pick up coffees and um, pastries um, to go or to have um, in the reception area. So it's really really nicely done and it's just a lot of fun um, playing with all the different design elements. The hotel has 200 bedrooms, a hundred of which are German rooms and a hundred of which are French rooms. So the next few videos will show you what they look like. These are what the corridors look like to the bedrooms and this is now us going into a German room. Um, there's lots of Lego in this room which is really really cool and as you can see this is a yeah German inspired room. That's their little mascot on the bed. I believe it is a sleep magpie. Um, as you can see, everything is self contained. Um, you've pretty much got everything you need. Really great design. You've got the privacy where you need it. Um, and there's lots of quirky things, uh, design elements in these. As you can see, uh, Thomas is showing me that you can kind of change everything around on the walls for your storage. There's also a very cool um, Lego block so you can play around with it and leave messages for housekeeping perhaps or make it a little bit fun so that's always exciting. And in general it's just a very colorful, fun atmosphere um, and a great room design. Here are the French rooms, which are definitely more feminine in style and it is my favorite uh, of the two, I'd like to say, even though I wouldn't complain with the German room. These are very spacious, lots of light, like the German rooms, um, however completely different. Uh, but they have everything that you need um, and this is sort of an entry level category of room. 
I also got to visit their version of a suite. They're not called suites. Um, they're an extra large room, so XL if you're booking online. Um, that's what the rooms look like. So this is an extra large French style room. Uh, very spacious, beautifully designed room. Absolutely loved it. And just look at this bathroom. You have views from the bathroom as well. So really, really nicely designed and executed. So let's get to the important stuff, which is where in this hotel can you have events? Now, 25 hours hotels are always very quirky, very trendy. They're great for brand activation kind of events. Um, this hotel is nothing different to that. So they have four different event spaces on the first floor of this hotel. So this is the floor where all the event spaces are. Straight ahead is the atelier. And here right now on my right side is the La Cuisine, which can fit up to 10 people around this table. You can close the doors off. It's beautiful, um, very homely style. Um, and you come back round and the atelier is on your right side and the two smaller rooms on the other side. The atelier does events up to 70 people. This room, the Werkstatt, would have to be my favorite room at the hotel. Eight people sitting on these swings, absolutely awesome space for creative strategy type meetings, for sure. And this is the circuit board room, which can do meetings for up to 12. Something that the 25 Hours Hotels regularly do, which I think is really cool, is they use saunas in their hotels, which is always a very impressive space in any 25 hours, um, and they use it for events. So you can hire out the saunas at all 25 Hours Hotels for your events, which is super cool. So you're going to see the one in Dusseldorf right now. So this is a sauna at the 25 Hours Das Tour, which we're accessing right now from the gym. You can also access it from the corridors using your hotel card or, um, for example, if you're having an event here, you can set the front area up that we just looked at for your registration. The best views in Dusseldorf from a sauna, I gotta say. This is a terrace that's connected that you come out onto. It's not very big, but look at those views. And you can actually do an ice bucket challenge, which I think is fantastic. It's hilarious. I wouldn't do it, but you can if you want. But look at those views. And last but not least, it wouldn't be a 25 hours hotel if there wasn't a really cool, trendy bar as well as a restaurant. So now I'm going to take you on a tour of um, the Paris Club, which is their restaurant, which is French food. And also the top of the hotel, which is where their amazing bar is. So enjoy! So this is the Paris Club and it is on the 16th floor of the hotel um, which is not the top floor because the top floor is where the bar is and that's the 17th floor. But the Paris Club is basically the restaurant which you see here and the bar upstairs. This is the bar on the 17th floor and it does open from 4 p.m. so I was there around 1 o'clock so it's not set up at all but you can tell how amazing the space is. Look at these views, wraparound terrace, an absolutely stunning space and one of the hottest bars in Dusseldorf right now. That was the 25 hours desk tour hotel in Dusseldorf, Germany. So if you are planning an event in Dusseldorf, I would absolutely recommend this hotel if it's a small to medium event because it has some really great quirky spaces for some unique events. And more importantly, thank you so much for joining me on this tour of the hotel. As a venue finder and an event planner, in my day to day I get to visit a lot of different hotels, venues and destinations around the world for the events that my clients are planning. Join me as I discover these places and if there's a hotel or a venue or a destination that you're interested in booking for your clients um, or as yourself an event planner, then this could be super helpful. Or you could just have an interesting time checking these hotels out through my eyes as an event planner. So check out my other videos, subscribe to the channel so when the next vlog drops you know about it. Please subscribe, please share, please like. 
please make any comments because of course this is not the end there's lots of hotels and venues and destinations to see in the world see you at the next one and bye bye thank you